Wordtress is a 1991 slash 1992 puzzle game. It, it was designed by Armin, Sergei, and Vyacheslav. Nailed so, it. I'm sure you nailed that. I know my Russian. It was developed by the president of Armenia. Is that legitimate? I swear. Google it. The guys that the guy's name that you just read, Armin. Armin Sarkisian. Sarkisian is the pres the current president of Armenia. I'm like, is that a super common name? Is this a, you know, listen, a Jose Garcia situation? No. Uh, like, like seriously, on the president of Armenia's Wikipedia page. Also, there's like six different spellings because. Why are you language. reading the Wikipedia on page? On the, the president Wikipedia of Armenia. Page. It says it's Sargissian was one of the co-creators of the 1991 Tetris spin-off game Wordtress. Wordtress was developed by the president of Armenia. For real? This yes! is a one of a kind game then. Trivia about any game we've played. Can we all just take a moment to salute? Yes. Um, we, thank you for your thank service. You. Thank I don't you know how their country is running, so I, I don't know. I don't. I, I do not endorse that because I don't know this person. But that was cool. I think Petra's from Armenia, right, guys? Yeah, her yeah. last name is Ar Ar Arcanian. Arcanian, something like that. Uh, Ender's game reference. So uh, it was yes designed by this Russian crew slash Armenian slash I don't know if those are the same, different, or close together. Wow. But the R. In the title, the second R in the title is reversed, and there is the like hammer and sickle on yeah. the on the loading. I screen. saw that I and I was like, even "Whoa!" Caught that? It what? Just yeah. said it. It's like real overt. Oh, it's real overt. Uh, it was published by Spectrum Hollow Byte, which I said last week. Uh, our internet provider, thank you, Spectrum. We salute you again. Uh, it was. It first came out <laughs> on the IBM PC platform. And then it was ported to Game Boy and Super Nintendo. We primarily played the Game Boy version this week, I believe, but I did get some experience with the Super Nintendo version this week. Regardless of which version we spent the most time with, they are all practically the same with only slight differences to looks and theme, but gameplay identical. So, like, okay. Real-time ported the game, yes, to Game Boy from... SNES. That was the original release because I'm actually still. Oh, from PC. No, from, from PC, PC. Like and what I just said. SNES. To, to get. <laughs> then the game was released for the Game Boy, which was ported by Real Time Associates and the Super Nintendo. Ah, sorry. It's all right. Uh, it's a Tetris offshoot, which <laughs> is disres disrespectful to Tetris. <coughs> But uh, as... unsurprising, considering the game's name is Wordtress. Yes. Right, which is not good. You, here's what we have. I don't know if that's as bad as Game Awards. We have what bad. we call in the modern age, uh, Clout Chaser. Tetris came out super successful, best puzzler of all time. And hey, we could just president? make. We could just. Ma I'm the president. I could just make a game. With the same name almost, kind of, and just change it to words. It's Should... a thumbnail rip. It's um it's a it's clickbait. Should we invite the president of Armenia to be on our podcast? Do you know Spanish? <laughs> 